just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off, the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left of the guy. I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect while uh, leaving Christians like, you know, myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. All right, going to do a video showing how Brian Dillinger lacks the fruit of the spirit. So let's get right into the clips because Brian Dunlinger uh, has gone off the deep end in the past couple of years. Uh, I'd say ever since like 2016, 2017 is when Brian Dunlinger uh, got, got, went out the deep end. Because you look at a lot of his early sermons back in 2008, 2009, 2010, he had a lot of good fruit he was showing. But as the ministry continued, uh, that fruit began to go away. And you're going to see in these clips, these are all, the first two clips are from 2020 and the last clip is from 2022. So the past couple of years, Brian Dunlinger has just lacked a lot of fruit and shown a lot of anger and bitterness and pride. It's very sad when you get down to it, but here's the first clip where Brian Dillinger is just going in this bitter, angry rant about iPhones. Okay, check this out. See, I'm an old man, okay? I've dealt with you people before. I've been there. I've heard the arguments. Prideful little arrogant jerks. Oh, oh, we're so smart now because we have our magic little iPhones and we can just access any information and whenever we want it because we have little iPhones and we can just kind of look things up and whatever else and I can, you know, find videos exposing Brian Denlinger and I can... You're a loser. <laughs> Deal with it. Change. Yeah. Now you compare that to how Brian was back in 2008, 2009, 2010. It's like night and day. He's like a, he's like a different person. It's insane. But here's the next clip where Brian Denlinger goes into a, a very bitter, angry rant about video games. Check this one out. Hey, loser, where's your log home that you've built? Hey, loser, uh, what adventures have, I, have you had? Pew, 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 pew. Uh, uh, look at me. Uh, hey, I can, look at me, I'm, I'm daring. I can eat Doritos with one hand put them in my mouth and drink some poison pop with this hand and I never push paws. Whoa, you're such a man. Loser. You're a loser. Now, if you thought those two clips were bad uh, and pretty uh, lacking of the fruit of the spirit, check this one out. So in this one, Brian Dillinger goes into this insane bitter rant in response to somebody who leaves a comment on his live stream against the church buildings uh, and just watch, just watch the just the anger coming out of them. I mean, there's no fruit of the spirit in this. Check this one out. Of course, you know, I see one of your comments here. Not all trash churches are trash. Okay, I, this whole argument. Well, my church doesn't do it, and I, I have a church, and we don't listen. Here's how the system works. If it's not first and foremost, if it's not supported by the King James Bible, you have no business doing it. Okay. When it comes to worship and whatever, I, you know, I know there's no Ford trucks in there or Chevy cars or something. Don't get idiotic here. But when it comes to something like church, it's clearly defined in the King James Bible. There's no question. There's no debate what a church is. It's the people. All right. And you can meet in a home. You can meet in a field. You can meet in the mountains, along the ocean, along the lake wherever you want to. You say, well, can't we meet in the building and call it a church? No, because then you're, you're changing the definition of what a church is. So number one, you're in disobedience to scripture if you have a building called a church, plain and simple. And then you have the double life that's, that comes as a result of that. What I do when I'm in church and what I do when I'm not in church. I've dealt with this stuff for years and years. I've answered all the questions. It's ridiculous.
but you know, oh, my church doesn't do. Okay, let's just assume that for a minute. But what happens when the government takes over? Just finally says, okay, this is the way it's going to be and whatever else and things like they basically did in 2020. Guess what? They all went along with it. Well, we had a church in the middle of nowhere and we have, you know, eight people that go there and we didn't mask up and we didn't do this and we didn't do that. Well, then you're just useless. Quite frankly. Yeah, that's Brian Dunlinger. Uh, the modern day Brian Dunlinger, completely different person. Again, you compare him back to how he was in 2008, 2009, 2010, he's a totally different person. You know, it's, it's like night and day when you compare the two. But here are some of the fruits of the Spirit. Uh, here's actually all of them. And here's, first of all, I'm going to list the lust of the flesh, and here's the fruit of the Spirit. And showing how Brian Dunlinger is definitely displaying a lot of the lust of the flesh, works of the flesh, but zero fruit of the Spirit. Here it is, Galatians chapter 5, verse 19, down to verse 23. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, unclean, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Are we seeing that in these clips right here? Uh, Long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, temperance? No, we're not. But what we are seeing is is uh, emulations, wrath, you know, anger, hatred. Yeah, that's what we're seeing in those bit, in those clips right there. Works of the flesh, but no fruit of the spirit. Okay. Second Timothy chapter two, verses twenty-four to twenty-six. Second Timothy two, verses twenty-four to twenty-six. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Hmm. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, you know, be gentle unto all men, patient. Uh, are we seeing that in those clips right there? No, we're not. What we're seeing is a bunch of uh, just pride, bitterness, and anger pretty much when you get down to it and just emulations and wrath coming out of Brian Dillinger. So it is very sad, but he is lacking in the fruit of the spirit, you know, and you see the fruit that comes out of his ministry is his followers will by extension have the same kind of bitterness and wrath. They'll call you lost just for simply like just a guy called Phil Randon who goes around calling, you know, myself and others lost for only reason why is because we're questioning and speaking against his, his idol, Brian Dillinger. And a lot of his followers display the same kind of anger and bitterness as Brian Dillinger. That's the fruit that's coming out of his ministry, sadly. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys that, how Brian Dillinger is lacking the fruit of the spirit, but showing a lot of the lust of the flesh, and not doing how the servant, not acting in, in the manner that the servant of the Lord is supposed to conduct himself. So anyway, don't be deceived. Uh, I'd say, um, in, you know, until Brian Dillinger repents of all this, mark and avoid his cult that he's running over there, over in Maine. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.